What is up everyone, PWG here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys five different ways to do a first touch. But not only that, I'm also gonna show you guys how to save precious time while receiving the ball. Let's get to it. Before we even get into the first touch, it's important for you to know what to do with the ball after you control it. Are there any teammates or opponents nearby? Because this will ultimately decide if and how you're gonna receive the ball. Stop it dead or directional. This is the inside touch. It's possibly the most simple one and also the most used. The reason for that is because the inside of your foot is the widest part of your foot and it's also the most natural way for people to receive the ball. To gain control, meet the ball with your foot and cushion it by moving your foot backwards. This will decrease the speed and ultimately stop it dead. Now you can look up, scout your surroundings and make your next move. If there are opponents coming your way as the pass reaches you, you can use the pace of the ball to get out of that situation and create space for yourself. Angle your foot to change the direction of the ball, cushion the ball so you don't lose control and then accelerate. You can either tap the ball to the side, between your legs, or you can step forward, twist your body and tap the ball with your back foot. You should learn this with both weak and your strong foot so you can get out of any situation with the inside of your foot with ease and grace. Now an outside touch can be used for the exact same purposes as an inside touch, stop dead or directional. But it's mainly used as directional as it is less reliable than an inside touch for just stopping it dead. If you want to go to the side, angle your foot slightly and follow through with your foot as the ball touches. This will make you gain control and decrease the chance of a horrible touch. This move is only used when you're going in the same direction as the foot you are using. One of the best feelings in the world is when you get a high cross, you take control of your space and you use your chest to control the ball perfectly down to your feet. To do this, you need to be flexible and work with your knees because your knees will act like a cushion in this situation. When the ball approaches, use your knees to lower your upper body and angle your chest slightly upwards. If you don't do this, the ball will bounce straight off your chest and you won't have as much control. But that only applies if you want to drop the ball down perfectly at your feet. If you've analyzed the situation and you want to go to either side, back, forth or go for a shot, there are several ways you can use your chest. So for example, if you want to go for a shot, you want to go into the chest touch with power instead of a cushion because you want the ball slightly in front of you to go for that volley. So right before the ball touches, quickly move forward and push your chest out with your arms and shoulders backwards. The amount of power you put into this is ultimately decided by what situation you're in and where you want the ball to be. If you drop your shoulder right before the ball touches, it's a perfect way to control the ball from the air to bring it down to the ground to quickly accelerate the game. Have you ever been too lazy to just take down the ball with the inside of your foot or you think it's just for normies? Well, I'll show you how to do the side scorpion. Order now is just $19.95, call now. Basically, when the ball approaches your strong foot, step away from the ball or duck underneath it. At the same time, lift your leg up with the outside of your foot facing the ball. When the ball touches, either keep the foot firm or add more power. The ball will either drop down or rainbow over your head, depending on how much power you put into the touch. Now, is this effective and foolproof? Mm, no, but it is really cool though. Now, how about we spice things up with the cheekiest first touch ever done on the field, the Neymar touch. To do this, you need perfect timing and a lot of confidence. As the ball starts approaching, jump with your body slightly twisted with your weak side towards the ball. Cross your legs and touch the ball with the inside of your foot. Now take control of the ball as the ball falls down and wait for the applause and the internet cloud. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below if you want more tutorials like this. And if so, what do you want to learn? Also make sure to subscribe and Neymar touch that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time.